This group for head coach Denise Stillen, who's in her third year, leading her alma mater. Lucy Olson, Christina Dulce together, those two underclassmen in that starting lineup for the Wildcats. It's the same five they rolled out in their series opener at Marist. And for the Princeton Tigers, same starting lineup that they rolled out in their first game on Monday against Temple. Paige Morton filling in that fifth starting spot with the graduate transfer of Abby Myers to Maryland, Stone, Chen, Mitchell, and Cunningham otherwise for Princeton. And her third-year head coach, Carla Ruby, And, you know, Dee, looking at this one tonight, it, both teams, as we talked about, great defensive performance. Four and nine made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Princeton, 25 and five, second round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, you, we mentioned plus 23 rebounding the other night for Princeton. They were plus 19 against Maris, Villanova was. That's the Wildcats who have the first possession of the night. In the hands of Lucy Olson. Maddie Burke, also a newcomer to the program this year, transfer out of Penn State. I'm very, I was very interested in seeing who Carla Barubi wanted to put on Seagrass coming out of the gate, and it's Ellie Mitchell. Julia Cunningham, the takeaway. Tigers into their half-court set. We saw this new starting lineup for the first time on Monday with two post players on the floor. That is Caitlin Chen, the miss. How about Dulce pulling down the first rebound? She's coming off a 17-rebound performance against Maris. Brooke Mullen stepped on the sideline as she began her move toward the middle. Well, to have two turnovers in your first two possessions, you've got to calm down a little bit. Cunningham giving up some size defended by Segrist at the moment. We're going to nice screen roll game with Ellie Mitchell, who draws a whistle against Maddie Burke. And that's one of the things uh, in talking to Coach Dillon. You know, they worked on in practice, and you can work on it a lot, really trying to stay on the ground. And because they know Princeton, that's the way Ellie's going to be. She's going to bait you into wanting to leave your feet, as she just did. First free throw, no good for Ellie Mitchell. Talked about that fantastic game for her on the glass in the opener. Eighth time in her career she pulled down 14 or more rebounds, though she misses both on her first trip to the strike tonight. Well, she was 4 of 8 the other night. We know that's an area she's going to work on to get better than 50% from the foul line. Segrist. Draws a whistle inside on a bit of a broken play. Princeton nearly came away with a third takeaway in three possessions to start it tonight. I was looking at, because right now, Maddie Segrist is third all-time scoring at Villanova. More than 1,800. Shelly Pennefeather is the leading one at 2,400. But Maddie has two more years to go. Yeah. Two out of two to start this for Maddie Segrist, the unanimous preseason player of the year in the Big East. Chen with the tough catch, defended by Mullen. That is Grace Stone from straight away, and that's good from three. Nice to see. I went back and looked because I said, wow. Her sophomore year, she shot 40% from three. I mean, we know what her struggles were last year, but she really should just go back and look at tape of what made that possible for her. Stone back to a bit of a more natural small forward shooting guard spot this year as Segrist misses in the mid-range. Morton, a nice box out to secure the miss for Princeton. Stone, Mitchell had it poked free, Don't Cunningham nice, had it taken away. Yeah, nice job defensively, staying with their individual assignments, not needing help. Long two on the baseline from Dulce is no good, Segrist able to tip the rebound to herself, Dulce, and then a foul from behind against Morton. Villanova against Maris had 25 offensive rebounds. Now, I didn't ask Coach Stone about this. They only had 15 second-chance points. 
I'm not saying you have to convert every one of them, but even like half. Yeah, you'd like it to be a little bit closer, about one point yeah, for, right. for every extra possession right. you I get. I said 24-25. It should have been, right? Yeah. Still 25 offensive rebounds. It's a lot of extra opportunities. Oh, wow. Dulce makes both. I like her shooting form. With six foot two, she's gonna be able to get that off against nearly any defender she sees. Except Paige. <laughs> I just noticed like Paige has maybe a couple inches on her. Stone and the foul as Lucy Olsen went to the floor. Well, I like uh, Grace Stone's assertiveness here in the early going. And take a look. So she crosses it over, keeps going. Not her fault that the defender falls down. I mean, she got herself tripped up. Stone with all five for the Tigers. A career 82% free throw shooter, Grace Stone is. No broadcast jinx there. Come on, John. <laughs> We had a couple of those the other night. We did. I'm going to chalk that up to the first game. You know what I mean? Yeah, it Less about the broadcast. I mean, when when Julia Cunningham misses three, that there's something going on. And Cunningham, close to 80% for her career. This is Oriole. Got a defender off her feet. Has her own miss and then was fouled. by. First of all, uh, Maddie Seagrist was limited to 10 points, which turned out to be her season low. Now, what she didn't know at the time of that game, she actually had a broken bone in a shooting hand. So she proceeded, she played like one other game, and then she missed, I think, six. That's Dulce inside. That is Chen getting to the baseline. And Chen is left alone in the corner. She's got three. For Lucy Olsen to get out and defend that corner three, Chen had a little extra time and a clean look. Olsen, Oriole. Olsen for three. That's good. The other night, Villanova went three of 22 from three in that game against Marist. But we saw some struggles from the three-point line in the Temple Princeton game as well. Yeah, that was uh, something I don't think either of us have ever seen before in a college game. Going the first 35 minutes without a made three as Grace Stone. Hey, she's got two in the first. Actually, more than that because she had the nice drive down the left side of the lane. Mullen defended by Stone. Olsen a tough shot. Down her third rebound in the first five and a half tonight. Segrist for three. Whoa. Comes to Villanova now in her third year after 17 years at Drexel and quite a bit of success in West Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, though, to be able to go after because Harry had been there for so long and had a coaching career at Villanova and to be able to go after him, your alma mater, and try to continue the success. It's the third made three in this first quarter for Grace Stone. She's got 12. Anahi Lee is on for the, Anahi Lee Cauley, I should say, is on for the first time for Villanova, replacing Dulce. Chen looking to break down Runyon. Ball movement for the Tigers. Stone, another look for three. Hey, that's a new career high. Four made. They want Segrist inside. Good contest from Cunningham on three-point attempt. Tigers looking to run in the late stages of this opening quarter. Madison St. Rose. That's good from three. The head coach, Carla Barubi, back-to-back. Ivy League coach of the year in her first two seasons. In Princeton, Segrist, tough shot. That's good. On two feet, and then the ball fake. This is Runyon. The father John is in the stands here with us at Jadwin today. 
Uh, Jones is in for the first time for the Wildcats. They dump it in. Ellie Mitchell, the fall away, is no good. Shot didn't hit the rim, and Caitlin Chen's got a wide open look. <laughs> Chen had the corner three, but she, generally speaking, likes to make sure she gets her teammates involved first, and then she'll come with her own buckets. Segrist for three, yes! Says to me that she, like, really doesn't discriminate between shooting mid-range, shooting downtown, going to the hole. Segrist leading the Wildcats as usual with 14. That is Chet. No Wildcats. Sort of one of these local home games, or local road games, I should say. Talking about that non-conference schedule for them quite a bit on the road. Maddie Burks left all open, for, all alone for more from Royers for Pennsylvania. All-time leading scorer in Springford High School history. Going over trying to get organized as the shot clock ticks to 10. Jones, the cross on Connolly, and the finish. Five in a row for the Wildcats, their largest lead at six. Cunningham. Jones off and running again. Yeah, it's a little crowded on that left side for Villanova. Burks is trying to say, you know, everybody get to your places. Jones crossing on Cunningham. Connolly comes to help. Olsen to the goal, yes! The last possession by the Tigers when they go to down low to Ellie Mitchell on the right block. And she has her defender, some help comes. And this time she kicks it out like she did in that first quarter, only Villanova much quicker to recover to the three-point line. Wildcats have done a pretty good job defending Cunningham in this first half. Her first field goal in seven tries. Under two minutes to go. It's a five-point lead for Villanova. Segrist, the jab, and splashes a triple. First team all Ivy. Olsen, Jones. Lucy Olsen, a clean look for three. These Wildcats are on fire in the making first Making adjustments, verbally making them in the locker room, and then actually coming out and executing them. So I anticipate that they will talk about what they didn't do defensively in this second quarter that they can get back to when they come out of the locker room for the second half. Olsen creating against Cunningham. Got her off her feet and lays in two. It doesn't happen on Carla Berube's watch. Alongside Dean Lynham, our producer Alex Bodner, and John Moses, thanks for making us part of your Friday night. Tigers emerge with the first possession of the second half. Paige Morton right into Dulce, and she delivers two. And that well, good to go right to her because she took you know a lot of time just sitting there. Get her back in the action, back in the flow. Segrist over Morton. Bucket. She'll, she'll take you off the dribble. She can shoot it from downtown. She can strip you and get a steal and go end to end. And she's got 21 tonight. Stone inside Morton. Yes. Bonded with a career high 13 points. Segrist, the catch against the smaller Chen. She has her own miss and throws it off the window for two. Yeah, that was one of the things that I noticed. Morton didn't really uh, rebound much. Now, when you're playing alongside Ellie, that's part of it because Ellie's going to grab as much and everything that is available. Chen inside. Good execution. At both ends of the floor, getting a couple buckets on Dulcie and then swatting Dulcie's shot down here defensively. Ellie Mitchell still in search of her first points tonight. Now 0 for 4 from the field. Segrist got it done. She's been out there, like I said, hasn't taken a break in this game. Now neither has Segrist, but Segrist, it's not bothering her. 38th double-double. She's already added to both those here tonight. From the set for Cunningham out of the timeout, her second make. Five to shoot for Villanova. Segrist lost it, and Stone comes away with the steal. Yes, that's some nice, good help defense by Grace Stone. Yeah, Ellie's keeping Seagrest in front of her. Grace saw that she was in a little bit of trouble with her handle and swiped it. 
Cunningham to the reverse. Cunningham looking for some contact and none coming. Jones will settle down the possession for Villanova. Mitchell has matched her career high, five assists tonight. Segrist, the step back on Mitchell. That is good for Maddie Segrist. We've seen three-pointers. We've seen the step back. We've seen the floater. We've seen, you know, get out in open space. She's got 27 points. Morton with an advantage against Burke and bullies her way inside for two more. Now you have Dulcie back on Paige Morton. Paige is at the foul line. Chen, tough shot off the window. It, the game got tighter. We expected them to come with some kind of run, but don't get away from doing what got us to this point. You're still, you know, in a good situation. Cunningham left all alone. She's got three. And by the way, Julia's shot was a two, not a three. I thought she was behind the arc. Cunningham inside and delivers two more. Prince. Word with the official on the baseline that made the call. Cauley. This is Jones. Five perimeter players on the floor for Villanova. Olsen into the paint. Yes. Cunningham. Inside against Olsen. No whistle, but another offensive rebound for Princeton. Their ninth tonight. Pretty good D by Olsen on Cunningham. I mean, physical. Tigers go back to Morton. That's good. Get back in this. We're going to defend, and we're going to get to the paint, and they have done that. Going over without a point in more than four minutes. They've got Maddie Segrist back on the floor, playing with four personal fouls. Segrist in the post. She sees a triple team. Tigers do well to recover. Post up is for Dulce. To the reverse, she lays it in. Ten on Segrist on that possession. Cunningham from three. That is good. He's able to stay with her in terms of quickness. Second leading scorer for Villanova tonight, Lucy Olsen has 14 points. Olsen from the foul line, that is good. And, and you know, like a little bit of a bump off of Chen. I've noticed that's how she gets her mid-range jumpers. Like she gets to a spot, uses a little bit of physicality to create just enough space. Cunningham. 13th rebound for Segrist, and what the interesting part, since she has come back at the 445 mark, she's kind of been a little bit of a decoy on this offensive end, and you've gotten a couple of buckets from your teammates. 140 to go. Segrist with eight to shoot. Over Mitchell. Off the wow. window. Wow. And a shooter like her, I'm, I'm going to say that she probably knew she wanted to use the backboard there. She hit it exactly where they tell you in the small square. Chen for three. Don't well, see a big rebound. Olsen. Now, the only thing I would like to see, it, yeah, right about the 10-second mark, you got to get into your stuff because too often they've gotten too late in the shot clock. Yeah, timeout. Feeling an air of confidence about this group. She says it's early, but she feels like this group has a lot of potential to grow into. We've seen some of it tonight. Weathering the storm of Maddie Segrest. Second half foul trouble. Inbound to Olsen. Segrest in the post over Mitchell. And the foul! Wow. I mean, again, excellent. You know, you never know what's going to happen. But the, to have the ability 
to draw up a side out of bounds play. And when I say draw it up, obviously you have these in your book and you get it to your best player. And they just turn and shoot. Ellie does keep her feet on the ground. But, you know, you're trying to make it as difficult as possible for the best scorer on the floor. It's a six-point game. They run it for Cunningham. Rebounded by Mullen. Tigers have to foul. And Cunningham gives it on Olsen. Olsen, her first free throw attempt of the evening. Wildcats now 11 of 13 as a group after they shot 9 of 17 from the stripe in their opening night win at Marist. Olsen rolls in the second to make it an eight-point game. You have to defend her. People came at her, but she trusted her teammates and full of those baskets. Tigers advance the ball. Down by eight. Stone puts it into St. Rose. Cunningham on the curl, steps back for two. Rebounded by Oriole, and she is fouled by Mitchell. Boy, what a response in this fourth quarter by Villanova. Sure, I said Princeton liked where they were going. They were up 53-49 going into the final frame. They had, you know, taken seven points off of the deficit. They were getting to the paint. Villanova's defense did not have an answer for Paige Morton at that point. I mean, I, I thought the adjustments by the Tigers at halftime were the right ones. But then I have to say, the adjustments Villanova made, you know, to be able to close out this fourth quarter was really strong also. I mean, these are two really good teams. And then headed off to the Gulf Coast Showcase where they will play Belmont and then either Baylor or St. Louis. Then a third opponent to be determined over Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, and they did this without, you know, one of their starters in Runyon. Miss from Stone. Oriole comes away with the rebound. And the Villanova Wildcats. Exact some revenge over Princeton after the season opening loss for Villanova a year ago. And for the second time in three years under Denise Dillon are 2-0 to begin their season. A 10-point victory for Villanova tonight. 